mood shifts may occur a few times a year, or as often as several times a week. And that is why bipolar disorder should not be taken lightly. Next week on Undiagnosed, join us for narcissism. Me, myself, and I. Before you leave, please pick up your human analysis report. Is there a problem, Mia? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but I think there was a mistake with my paper. This is at least a B-plus paper. Maybe, if this was creative writing, but it's Psych 101, and your psychological analysis of a human being is complete fiction. Okay, well, I feel like that's debatable. Did you, or did you not make Ethan Cox up? I may have changed his last name for legal reasons, but he's real. Okay, I also might have fabricated some of the details, but I followed the guidelines, right? You mean the ones that pointed you to a very specific bank of case studies? <laughs> well, was that a, a, a thing, or...? <laughs> Look, if you get an A in the final, I'll pass you. Otherwise, you'll just have to accept failing a class and try again in the spring. Okay, uh, just, just out of curiosity, if this was a creative writing class, I would at least get a B plus, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So, do you want a deco box, or...? No, I'll just finish here. It was a joke. Okay. Seth, I think we should talk about the information I received last night. From Ethan? Yeah, he texted me at 3 in the morning saying that you guys had made out and passed out on his bed after overdosing on Xanax. Well, Ethan lies. Like all the time. But why would he lie about that? I don't know. Jealousy? Insecurity? Regret? You're just listing emotions. Those don't even fit the situation. You want to talk about emotion? Let's talk about how Ethan is a very manipulative person. Probably because he never felt in control as a child. Because his mother was overbearing and his dad probably spanked him till he was 12 and forced him to play t-ball for like 10 years even though he had no athletic prowess. So all of his teammates started bullying him and he spent the rest of his life looking for a way to feel superior to anyone including you. Did you just make all that up? Are you gonna eat your croutons? No. <clears throat> Mia. I think that uh, it would be better if you and I just stayed friends. You're, you're breaking up with me? Yeah. You're breaking up with me? and you want to stay friends. Oh yeah, of course. We've dated for 13 months. Yeah, 
experience you have? We've had sex 203 times. Wow, really? Really? And you're not gonna even say breaking up, you're just gonna say let's stay friends? Well, I thought that that was the polite thing to say. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Mia, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Look, you're, you're gonna graduate in a couple years, and then you're gonna become a journalist. I don't wanna become a journalist! Then why did you study journalism? I don't! Not the point. <clears throat> All I'm saying is that we have our whole lives ahead of us, okay? We should be living them, not tied down like a couple of <laughs> hot air balloons. Hot air balloons are only tied to the ground briefly and then let go. Exactly. You sure you're not dating a freshman in high school? You know, how much easier would it have been if I just broke up with him three months ago when he disappeared and went to Florida and... Chris. Chris. Are you even listening to me? No. What are you writing about? Joke. Well, can you forget about your stand-up for five minutes? I cannot do that. Well, can I at least hear the joke? You wouldn't get it. Try me. Okay. All right. Man with umbrella. Mm -hmm. Latex. Okay. 30% chance of rain. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't get it. I didn't think you would. You know, you're a jerk. I find jackass suits me better. I agree. Me too. I agree with what I said as well. <laughs> if Seth broke up with you, I swear I will hack into his Netflix account and delete all the semi-pornographic films off of his favorites list. Well, I'll give you the password. Ugh, the love of... Chris! We need espresso. All of the espresso. It's an emergency. He's literally drinking a chai latte as speak. You know what? Give me a juice box. Make it two. It's been a day. My characters have just gone on strike. Oh, I'm sorry. ADD, it's a side effect of art school. Talk to me. No, you're, you're fine. It's just 13 months, Liz. Wasted. Are my standards too high? Mia, the guy flunked out of community college and has been up for a promotion at Aldi for a year. Well, I'm about to flunk out of Northeastern because I made up a fictional study on Ethan for my final project, so yeah, we got a lot in common. Ethan who? Ethan, Ethan, sent Ethan. <laughs> I fucking love you. This tech week and finals and Zane is killing me. I swear to God, Ethan. Hey, Chris, fancy triple shot, caramel, look out of it. It's about Starbucks, small, medium, and large. Can you be forced to watch Soundheim and read Uta Hagen before I step foot in the theater again? Okay. Alex, this is Mia. Mia. Alex. Nice to meet you, sweetie. Oh, and to top this nightmare off, I got Ensemble in rent. Ensemble. Fucking course, Paul Ryan got fucking Roger. My only hope is that he gets food poisoning opening weekend and I get step in, but hey, that's just wishful thinking. Shit, I completely forgot for you, Larry. Larry is his turtle. <laughs> On the record, there's no espresso. Yeah. Have you considered rethinking your life choices? Only every day. You need to come to film work. You've been over this. I need a real degree. Art school is a real degree. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's a real degree, just not real practical. Well, I need practical. Why do you write? You know, to escape my pathetic, insignificant life. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> Please, come to art school. We can be TV majors together. You'll be with me and Alex, and Jamie, and your sister, and all the other crazies. Even college dropouts like Chris here are better company than deadbeat closeted lugs like Seth. You're the sweetest. You're the sweetest person I've ever met. I'll even let you cheat off my scripts. Well, you're a good fucking writer, so you have no idea how tempting that is. Holy shit. Is that Ethan? Yep. Ethan, Ethan, Seth's. Oh. Nope. I do not ship it. Hot air balloon my fucking ass. Oh, honey, move on. I read that Judy Garland biography, and having a gay husband is not as glamorous as it sounds. Where can I register? Yes! There's the future Liz Lemon that I know and love.
Oh, your credits look really good. You're in good shape. Everything from screenwriting to physical geology to acting. Wow. Yeah, I'm fickle. Well, we're really happy to have you here at Fillmore Academy. But tell me, why did you choose art school? I nearly failed out of a credible university for making up stories. Credible? We're a credible university. State. I, I meant state. Somebody's late for their first day of school. Not for another three minutes. Jeez, couldn't you do this in your own apartment window? I could, but this one's got a better view. Shouldn't you be performing at a comedy club someplace? No. I'm not funny on Mondays. Before you comment, I'd like to remind you that the maker of this piece asked its critics to refer to the film as a she, and I think we should honor that. Thoughts? Even if you have no idea what you're saying, just sound as pretentious as you possibly can and you're gold. She was very meta. I don't think she was self-conscious enough. She needed to be more organic. I actually really enjoyed her enigmatic portrayal of pragmatism. Very interesting, Liz. Mia, what's your opinion on her? Who? The film. Oh, yes. Yes. The just a position of notions was pedestrian. Excellent. Excellent. Well, before you go, my colleague Landon would like a few words with you. To be clear, uh, I'm a student of Marcy's, but uh, like all of us, I'm also her colleague. No class structure here. Exactly. So, in this internet-run day and age, I'm sure all of you have uh, heard of what may be referred to as memes. But uh, what you may not have known, it's actually pronounced meme. Yeah. And they infiltrate our lives so much more than you can imagine. Which is why I'm inviting all of you to join me as co-writers of Fillmore Academy's very own zine, The Memegram. It's an online journal analyzing memes and their penetratory aspects throughout the internet. Is penetratory a, a real word? Oh, yes. Very much so. Did you ever think about how uh, memogram and mammogram sound a lot alike? <laughs> no. No, not even a little. So, any takers? I could give extra credit. Right. Well. I'll, I'll do it, I'll, I'll volunteer. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, uh, Mia, was it? Yep, and I think Liz here also really wanted to join. Uh, yeah, 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 for oh. sure. Thank you. Well, this is just great. <laughs> you had to sacrifice both of us? I felt really bad about the whole mammogram comment. Everyone probably thinks we're watching gay porn. 
the pilot episode of Queer as Folk, it is gay porn. Well-structured, character-driven, Emmy-worthy gay porn. Was this a sign for class? No, but it fucking should be. I'm done with acting, I'm done with art school, and I'm moving to Canada with Jamie. Holly, you're gonna scare away your sister on her first day here. Oh, Mia. I'm sorry, it's great here, really. I didn't say it a lie. How's your first day going? Uh, interesting. How was your audition? Ugh, horrid. I said if I wore heels I could be taller and they asked me if I was a guy. They thought you were a guy? They called me Dustin Hoffman, whoever that is. You really need to start watching more movies. I'm not about to waste my time on something as inferior to theater as movies. You do realize that your boyfriend's an undiagnosed movie addict, right? <sighs> if Jamie wants to sell out and watch flashy Hollywood blockbusters, I'm not going to stop him. You wouldn't let that come between you and Seth, would you? Oh, Seth I broke up with her. Seth. Seth and I broke up. It's Mia. It's fine. I'll send you an invite to my funeral. Don't worry. You know what? We need to find you a man. Seth was a man. Oh, uh, well, that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> Guys, he was my longest relationship. Mia, my longest relationship has been with this chocolate milk. Ooh, I'm sorry. You know what? We need some girl time. Let's go clubbing. Uh, we're not normal enough for that. Ugh, like you need to be normal to dress up like a trollop and down a few virgin margaritas. I don't think normal people would use the word trollop. Mia, Friday is your birthday uh, and we're going out. Damn it, I can't believe you remembered. Of course I remember. I wouldn't forget you turning 22. I'm turning 23. Fuck! I've missed a year's worth of opportunities. It's just going clubbing is exhausting and what's the point if I don't drink and I have a boyfriend? What's the point in having a boyfriend if you're not going to sleep with him? Liz, we are waiting to be sexually active when the time is right. 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 I used to be sexually active, but now I'm pretty sure I've just gone dormant. Disgustingly cute. I might have to write my suicide note on a cocktail napkin. I'll give her some arsenic later. Oh, thanks, babe. Oh, it's the birthday girl. There she is. There? Right there, blue dress. Happy birthday. What's your name again? Uh, Mia. Mia, happy birthday, Mia. Are we gonna sing her happy birthday? No, it's too expensive. Uh, wow, I've never had this many people I didn't know at my birthday party before. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> Great speech, hun, but so not quit a day job. God, can you believe this many people came out to celebrate my birthday? I mean, I think they'd look for an excuse to go out and party, so uh, it's mostly because of you. I'm so glad you also decided to dress like a slut tonight. Really? Thought I'd be the only one. <sighs> to Mia. I barely know you, but hopefully we'll get to. Happy birthday, and welcome to art school. We're all fucking mad here! <laughs>
top of it. Well, did you say you could be taller? Yes, how did you know? Darling, we need to have you watch more movies. They're so cute together. They're celebrating their three month anniversary oh, tomorrow. God, I hate myself. Tell me about it. Why did she date Alex? <laughs> what? No, he's... Uh, he's so far out of my league, it's pathetic. And I'm pretty sure he's gay, so... That's not true. Have you met him? Have you met Seth? We all thought he was straight. <laughs> Touche. Shit, what? Speak of the devil. What? God, I'm gonna look like such a loser here without a date. You're not without a date. Liz, I don't want him to think I'm a lesbian. All right, come here. <laughs> Alex! Alex, for Mia's birthday, will you dance with her to make her ex-boyfriend jealous? That sounds fucking fantastic. Where's the bastard? He's, uh, awkward repressed when over there. You're not gonna make him jealous at all, come on. <laughs> oh, honey, you can do so much better than him. I'm starting to doubt that. I think he's gonna come over. Hook, line, and sinker, baby. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Can you go dance with Blake? <laughs> Oh my god, Mia, hi! Oh, hey Seth, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> yeah, so, you go to clubs now? <laughs> yeah, I've always gone to clubs. Um, wow, you look like you're doing really well for yourself. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You kind of look like a hooker. Prostitute is the preferred term. If I look like one. <clears throat> well, um, I think I'm gonna be sick. So, bye. So, how do I compare with all of your other women? Well. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I, I think I'm gonna head out. What? No, don't let him ruin your night. No, he didn't. Uh, you guys made up for it. I'll just see you at school. Are you were leaving? Yeah. It... Thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah. We always leave them. get arrested, I think you succeeded. Cut me some slack, I'm an old woman of 23. Uh-oh, birthday blues. To put it mildly. Want a shot? I'll be up till dawn if I have an espresso. No, real shot. Is that my birthday gift? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Since it is no longer your birthday, a very merry unbirthday to you. <laughs> okay, cheers. Yes, indeed, cheers it is. <laughs> talk about it. Okay, when you moan like that, you sound like Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. I once had a cat named Sling Blade. You named your cat Sling Blade? I was seven. It's so... even more disturbing. Is your sarcasm the reason why you don't have any friends? That coupled with my insatiable narcissism. Well, that sounds about right. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh... Hey, thanks for the shot. I think I'm gonna sit here and reevaluate my life for a bit. So. Mm -hmm. Just lock up when you realize it's all downhill from here. Hey, Chris. Yeah. You really are a jackass. Don't hold back. Just say what's on your mind. I'm working on it. 
Listening, are you listening? I'm gonna sing for the sun. I will sing. 